The Oscars, what a great subject at this time of year. Oh, and we are going to have some fun tonight. Welcome to the final wager. I'm Keith Williams. We have a tie heading into Final Jeopardy. Todd, 11,000. Laura, 11,000. I'm watching this fairly close to live. It is 8.15 right now, so I've not looked at Twitter in the last hour and a half, so I don't know if this goes to a tiebreaker or if uh, everyone wagers everything and it's another triple zero, so I'm very excited to dig into this. I was hoping that pup category, I think that's what it was called, would be about dog breeds. And uh, speaking of dogs, I had the great pleasure of today finally meeting Elliot Yates' puppy, Angela Basset Hound. She's adorable, and she does all the typical Basset Hound things. Walking on her ears, uh, you know, just sitting down and not wanting to go anywhere, rolling around in dirt, sniffing everything, of course. But that was a lot of fun. I'm just you know, killing time right now because I don't really have too much to say here. Todd and Laura, tied for the lead, have two choices. Go for everything or go for nothing. Problem with the, the zero wager is Freeha has 10,400 and uh, she can cover a zero wager by either of them. So I would suggest that both of them go all in. I guess I'll put the zero down here. Still forces for you to get it right and uh, it's not a bad play. I wouldn't give it a pink or a red for sure. Freeha, on the other hand, has a little range to work with here. She wants to cover a zero wager by both of them, obviously, so 601 at least, but it's feasible that Laura or Todd could wager 599, so I'd want to cover that as well. 599 the upside, that's 600 twice, so 1200 at a minimum. And even 1201, but we'll go with that. On the downside, it is possible that either of them could wager to lock her out by a dollar. 20,800, well, we'll just do it the other way. 600 difference, take another 600 off that, so that's 9,800. And uh, she's got a pretty big range here, what to do. Also in that pup category, <clears throat> I might notice that it went, uh, I think they took him in order, Rin Tin Tin, Tin Tin, or Tan Tan, and I was expecting that just to be Tin in <laughs> the last one, but luckily I know my funnies pretty well, so... Uh, uh, Marmaduke was an easy get. Along the lines of Marmaduke, Archer is on tonight. Very excited. Season premiere. You know I love it. And there's a part where there's a funny Marmaduke on the fridge is a, a running joke. But I think that's all I got there. Uh, there's some steak on the television right now. Oh, it's fish grilled to perfection. What's up with all these new uh, grilling items? There's Gotham Steel, which has that uh, very British guy who's like, oh, it doesn't stick to anything. Yes, I don't know who you are. There's some woman, I don't know who she is, and she's pitching some similar product. And there was that. I don't know what that is. I don't know. Also had a very nice lunch with Jeff Middleman, who played a really game, good game against Philip Two a few weeks ago. Hi, Jeff. Hope you're doing well. Some tie was very good. Oscar's not my category. Uh, Meryl Streep that old? Is Helen Mirren that old? I don't think Helen Mirren's that old. I don't think Meryl Streep's that old either. 1938. <sighs> I'm going to offend someone no matter what I put down here because that means they're almost 80 now. It can't be Meryl Streep. It can't be Al Mirren. Uh, whatever. Sorry, Meryl Streep. I know you're not that old. You were in third place with 10,400. Thank you. With this actress. Meryl Streep, it's going to cost you. That's an incorrect response. 97.98, you dropped Yeah, all right. That's an interesting wager. She had 11,000, was tied with Todd, and she came up with Catherine Hepburn. No, she has been dead for a while, hasn't she? Not since 1998. And that'll cost you everything. It's a good wager. Dropping you to zero, so it's up to you, Todd. And 
1,000, and you wrote down who is Dame Ah, Dame that's got to be it. And she is the one. So you're going to benefit to the tune of 11,000 dollars. Wow. Well done, Todd. That was a tough one, and uh, you know, when all three players wager like that, perfectly, perfectly, we'll just leave it at that, and rationally, uh, it makes me happy too. We missed out on another tiebreaker tonight, but uh, you know, anytime the leaders both put their own lives on the line, that's all I can ask for, and really... Laura, that's all you can ask for, too. You played a good game, and it just didn't work out in the end. Priya, good wager as well. And uh, I guess we'll have to see if Todd is the one to break our streak of futility, which tonight is at 100 games. And tomorrow, no, tonight is at 101 games. And tomorrow, we'll break the record at 102, so... Todd can't stop it, but he can stop it on Monday if he wins two more games. Alrighty, I guess it's time to get ready for Archer and uh, get ready for the weekend. I don't think I have any April Fool's jokes planned for you this time around, but uh, you never know. Maybe I'll have some sort of inspiration in the next couple days. Well, I guess it would have to be tonight or tomorrow, so... Go figure. We will see you then, Friday, April 1st, right here on the final wager.